Victory through violence. Let's get into that. Let's talk about it. It's a hard subject. Let's see what we can unravel with it. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Rams Project. I'm Chris Nugent. I'll be giving you a period of instruction today on victory through violence. A lot of people in today's society don't think anything should be violent at all. Men should be soft. We should be nice. Should be good. Should be um, weak. Should be having makeup channels and putting makeup on our faces. Or acting more feminine. Well, it's not going to get you anywhere. Jesus wasn't a, a feminine. Jesus wasn't one to sit back and be super soft. He loved people. He was meek. And he knew when to act and how to act. Better than I ever could. But his example is there. But don't think that because when Jesus came the first time that he didn't use violence to be victorious in his story. Right? You have to have violence. Do you think the cross wasn't violent? Jesus didn't act violent he was very meek he went and sacrificed it all on that cross but something violent had to happen to make our salvation a possibility that violent day up on the mount in calvary had to happen if it wouldn't happen there was no hope for you or me we would be lost in the sauce working on our own ways of trying to be saved and God had a better plan because he knew that we couldn't save ourselves. Only he can save us, right? Thank God that he did that for us. Same thing with uh, at the end times. Jesus is going to come back. And it's going to be a violent, violent show of force. All right? He's going to come back pulling a sword out of his mouth. Eyes lit on fire. With a white robe with the tattered ends dipped in blood. Coming with the King of Kings, I am Lord of Lords, written on his thigh. And he's going to come victorious, carrying violence upon the earth. Now that we know that, how do we have victory through violence with ourselves? Well, sometimes, for me, I had to do that with the military. Or be capable of it. All military personnel should be capable of it. That you need to do violence to protect good. There's a lot of things in this life that violence is going to be the only way. Um, sometimes you have to do violent things to evil to make it flee. That's the only thing evil sees is violence 90% of the time. That's the only thing that conquers it. Yeah, Jesus conquered it by going on the cross, but the violent thing had to happen. That violent cross day had to happen. When we look at that, and we take these examples of how violence had to run and control or had to go through to make the victory happen so we could be set free. Well, it's the same with your family. It's the same for our nation. It's the same for all of it. If we are not willing to be savage, beast, and be violent when needed to be. That doesn't mean that we don't control the violence. That doesn't mean that we just go out willy-nilly doing whatever we want. We've got to be disciplined in it. But we need to wield that violence. Right? We've got to be prepared for it. We've got to get ourselves in the mindset that we're going to be the warriors that we need to be for our homes, for our families, for our communities. And maybe if, it, if you're called to that for our nation. This one's a hard pill to swallow, guys. Um, some people don't want to do this. I know I don't all the time. I don't like to hurt people. I don't want to hurt people. That's nothing that I want. I don't want that life anymore. But if that life comes to my doorstep, if that scenario comes knocking at my door, you best believe that door is getting kicked in with a size 15 boot. And I'm going to have every piece of armament tooth that I can have. And I'm going to bring the harshest, swiftest, deadliest violence that I can bring down. And everybody needs to do that. 
All right. That's all I got for the period of instruction of today. This was a solid one, somber one, hard one to deal with, but we got to cover it. All right, guys. Take this, go to the comments, go to the Patreon, visit that. If you want to, go to the Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, Rams Project is growing, guys. We're trying to get this thing rolling, and it only does it with you. So if you go to Patreon, all that stuff, like those things, follow, subs, become members there, subscribe there. Um, just follow it. Get started. Let's build this community. Let's do right by our families, all right, and our communities. Let's do it. All right. Follow them up. Go down in the comments. Like, share this thing. Get it out there and comment. All right. That's the end of my period of instruction. I'm Oscar Mike.